My name is Steve Riggins, Regional Sales Manager for Swartz Industries. Today we at the North Georgia Premium Outlets Simon Property Mall here in Dawsonville, Georgia. In today's video, I will be explaining maintenance and operation tips on your SuperVac Aero Trailer Mounted Sweeper. As we move around to the front of the Aero Sweeper, I'm going to talk to you about the components and features of this model. As you can see, the GX690 22 horsepower comes standard on the SuperVac Aero and it also comes with a seven gallon fuel tank, which typically you can get three to four hours of sweeping per tank. Uh, move around to the hopper. It's a two cubic yard hopper. As we move to the back of the unit, um, you got your 10 inch head hoses. This is the suction side, and on the passenger side is your blowing side. And we get back here to the rear of the unit is your 78 inch sweeping head. Before sweeping, you would need to let the head down by activating the, the winch here. So you would need to lock this lever up, let the head fall down. And when the head is falling down all the way, just click this lever so it don't unwind and get your cable um, in a bind. Also, another feature we have on the head is the carbide runners. You'll have on each side of the head and they usually typically um, don't wear out to over a thousand hours uh, of sweeping. Um, the head is a three flap system. Uh, as I mentioned, it's 70 inch uh, head. Also, on the passenger side, you got your leaf bleeder on the blowing side. So you do have a boat here that you would have to adjust uh, depending on what kind of debris you're picking up. Um, as you can see, this is closed uh, for heavy debris. Um, pretty much blows it over across the head and get sucked up. Uh, if you're in light material, paper, cups, um, and leaves, you would need to, to adjust this and move it back, which would open this head up and uh, it would have more suction on the head uh, and less blowout. Another maintenance tip is adjusting your sweeping back head. Um, as you can see, we've got three bolts here that would need to be loosened on each side of the sweeping head. Um, I am using a crescent wrench, but a 15 16 socket and ratchet or on impact will work as well too. Um, loosen the front one, barely. Loosen the middle all the way up. And you will need to do this to both sides. I'm going to the other side, doing the same thing. Barely loosening the front boat up and loosening the middle and rear all the way. Once you have completed this, you could take a small rubber mallet or just by pressing down with your foot, the head rubber would seat down to the asphalt, which gives you maximum performance on your head. Once that is complete, just come back and tighten the nuts back up. Once the rubber is seated, I just would start from the front and work yourself back, tighten the, the nuts back up on both sides. And that's how you adjust your sweeping head. Once all the bolts are tightened back up, this is a monthly check that you would do. I would check uh, every 100 to 150 hours of sweeping. Another feature on the SuperVac Aero is the leaf bleeder door, which is located on the passenger side rear of the sweeping head. By loosening the bolt, it's a 3 8 bolt, so you would need a 9 16 wrench and socket. Loosen it up, you should be able to open and close the leaf bleeder. So, as I was stating before, in heavy material, you want the door shut. This will allow more blow through through the head to push it over across to get sucked up. So in light, light litter, as your paper cups, leaves, you would need to open this. Adjust your setting. Depends on what debris you're using. I'll read debris. I'll go back. 
or what debris you're sucking up. Um, I would always like to do a starting point in the middle, set it right there in the middle so the, the head is half blowing, the other half is sucking. Always remember to tighten the boat back up. As we move back to the rear of the unit, I'm going to show you the inside of the hopper by loosening uh, these clamps up. And you have a prop rod here so the door don't come down on you. Another important feature is our three-piece bend system. This helps alleviate getting the debris out easier uh, on this sweeper. Um, as you can see, you got a screen here that needs to be cleaned out daily. And also, it's drive by the 20 inch six blade paddle fan that we use. The SuperVac Aero is equipped with a 25 gallon uh, water tank to help with dust suppression. The shutoff valve is located on the driver's side of the head. Also, on the SuperVac Aero, you have the clean air blower, which helps allow you to blow debris away from the curve to under the sweeper so it can get vacuumed up. Another feature on the SuperVac Aero is the backup camera, which is located at the top rear of the unit. In order for the lights and backup camera to work, you would need to have this plugged in. As you can see, this is not currently hooked up, but in order for the backup camera to work, you would have to have the running lights on. So with a backup camera, you do it does come with a uh, monitor, 12-volt uh, hookup cigarette lighter. Uh, let's plug it in. Um, it does come with a mount that you can stick on the dash or on the windshield uh, but in order for it to pair up uh, as i mentioned before that you would have to have the running lights uh, hooked up for uh, it to work properly also for the backup camera to work properly it syncs up to the rear camera in the back there's actually a button that you have to hit to sync uh, which i will show you when using the backup camera you would have to sync the monitor and the camera together by pressing the button on the back side of this camera. As we move forward, I want to talk to you about maintenance. Um, we'll start at the front of the engine here on your GX690. Oil changes will need to take place every 250 hours. As you can see, we do have a remote oil drain hose. Real easy. Um, loosen the, the plug, get you a bucket, let it drain. Also on the back side here is your oil filter. So every 250 hours, your oil filter and oil needs to re be replaced. As we move to the top of the engine is your air filter. This is something that needs to take place once a week. It needs to be inspected. After inspection of the air filter, if it is uh, too dirty, I would recommend uh, replacing it. Um, most of the time, just check it, uh, blow it out a little bit. Uh, but it's very important uh, for a weekly check. Another maintenance tip on your SuperVac Aero is uh, greasing your fan shaft bearings and your clean air blower bearings. These are located on the passenger side, as you can see, with the blue tips, uh, the grease certs. Uh, these need to be greased every 250 hours, like replacing uh, your engine oil. So when you replace your engine oil and filter, you will need to come over here with a grease gun and grease uh, these bearings. Um, as you can see, you got the grease gun. Uh, these lines are ready pre-filled from the factory, and you only need about an ounce and a half of grease, which is equivalent to about two pumps. Another weekly uh, maintenance tip on the SuperVac Aero is uh, I always like to spray some WD-40 in the pulley system for your head. This is a couple squirts. Also in the winch. This helps eliminate any tangling or binding when using the winch for your head. This concludes the maintenance tips on the SuperVac Aero. Uh, if you have any more questions, please refer back to the owner's manual, which is section four, or call our world-class customer support at 1-800-879-7934. Thanks again for watching from the people you know and the products you trust.